What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Bruja Africana, coming to y'all with another quick read. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and bring your friends over because we getting ready to go through some real wrap this shit up news, okay? Um, who are we um, introducing to our wrap this shit up news today? We talking about uh, Halle Bailey and DDG. Like, wrap this shit up, okay? And I know y'all like, oh, the father's in the... Ma- you, you're speaking against the black family and da-da-da. Look, wrap this shit up, Okay? Let's not act like this boy is nothing more than a karmic situation that she has allowed a soul tie. And I'm not saying that the baby is nothing evil, but what I'm saying is she's got a soul tie now with this this DDG kid, okay? Um, I saw something where she was talking about she's going through all this postpartum and all this, and I don't doubt it because many women go through it, but I think it's more so a thing of him not being exactly who she's playing him up to be in the public. And unfortunately, this was her idea. Like, she wanted a fucking baby by this boy. She wanted this. She is the one that is delusional in the situation. I see a lot of people dragging him. And you drag him outright. You're not wrong in dragging him. Please continue to drag him because he's childish and everything else and just ill. I can't believe this is who she chose. And I say that because she's in that line of women that... um or like Kiki Palmer, who had a baby by a nigga that she's clearly better than. And I said what I said. Yes, Hallie is better than DDG. Yes, Kiki Palmer is better than her baby daddy. And dare I say it because I can't stand her, but Nikki is another one. Honey, she's so much better than Ken. I cannot believe that this is who she chose to marry either and have a baby with. It's funny. All three of them have sons by those men. And <clears throat> it's an old wives tale and i'm gonna get back to the reading but this will show y'all in this delusion if a woman has a baby by her karmic that's the only amount of love from that specific man that she'll be getting that is the love that she's hoping to get from that man it transpires into a child usually a son that's the situation i see here so with them fighting and all of that you know she wants to make sure that she paints us this perfect picture of this beautiful relationship because they're young and you know it's trendy black love black young love and da 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 rather than it being real let's just showcase black love you know um <clears throat> she'll fight to keep up the image that they have a perfect household going on but he is an asshole honey that little boy there is the stupidest motherfucker and he is jealous of her successes it's a thing of he almost kind of takes credit for her shit, the shit that he knows that she accomplished, but he feels like if I hadn't been there type energy, yeah, he does shit like that. Then he'll do shit like love bomb her because he wants to stay amongst the celebration, honey. He knows what it is to be sitting next to a uh, Halle Bailey. Let's not play like she's not a household name every fucking way. And I'm not just talking in the U S like, Everybody knows who the Black Little Mermaid is. Everybody knows who she is because she was a little girl acting in front of us. Like, we know who she is, and he's benefiting from sitting at her table. So no matter how much he love bombs her or has her feeling miserable emotionally because he is a piece of shit, she's going to stay there, you know. Um, She's sad, though, okay? She is sitting on some secret surrounding him emotionally i don't know well he couldn't be messing with ruby rose anymore because she goes with drewski now so he's still doing something that's making her not feel whole as a woman and of course a man cannot make you feel whole but my god she just had your fucking baby nigga you should be telling her that she's beautiful and i'm not saying this is what should go on but in this situation this is what he should be doing because nigga Look here, let me not even go in like that. Like, ladies, learn to choose your equal, okay? And that includes financially as well. If y'all build together, then that's fine. But this ain't that situation. Haley is the one, Haley. Haley is the one that is carrying the load. She is the one that is, she's the masculine energy in the relationship. And he knows that. Um, She's an Aries. I know she's an Aries, but I have no idea what the fuck his birthday is, nor do I care. But she is stuck in that part of, you know, when you first get in a relationship with somebody and it's that um, honeymoon phase, she's stuck there and hoping things will go back there. But and she's refusing to believe or refusing to accept that it's not going back there. 
it's not it has changed she's refusing to accept that he's changed and a lot of the frustrations and the um emotional shit she's got going on is because of the fighting and stuff that she's doing with him the trying to make him appear to be the man that she's painting him out to be in the public that's about to fail and even when it does start to fail and they do start going through their thing don't expect hallie to be arguing on no hood rat shit publicly she'll say a few things but you know we'll get all of the information from her talkative ass baby daddy he'll be the one that's doing the talking but even with that going on she's still not gonna leave him alone y'all this is her karmic and you know that karmic is that one that you you fuck around and go down there get down through there for okay it's a whole thing of him being jealous it's a he's an outsider looking in still it's he's not on her level at all He's bad with money, bad at like whatever he had going on. I suppose his little um, YouTube shit ain't going the way he needed to go. Like, I guess him aligning with Hallie was supposed to do things for his career that it hasn't. So he's not, you know, in a position of being a man, if you will. And I don't know how to put that other than saying that because that little boy is so goddamn childish. I can't believe that's who she got a baby by, honey. It's just, uh, Hallie is being advised by the universe to go ahead and get back to work, honey, and take care of yourself. Not like, you know, leave your baby or whatever, but go ahead and get back to work because the more you sit up around DDG, you're wasting whatever it is that you're doing. Um, <clears throat> she was speaking about how she was slowly getting back into things, but I think she could probably uh, benefit by maybe carving out a set schedule. She doesn't seem to have a schedule of things. Things seem to be all over the place for her, and it's not giving her the motivation to want to go back to work. That and she wants to see what the fuck DDG got going on. So she's pouring a lot of energy into that. She is holding on to some secrets, honey, which she is coming up in that nine of coins um, energy. She's sitting there rotting in superficiality, trying to make sure that their um, relationship looks like it's good. She's saying that gossip and that gossip has her doubting herself. This is where that uh, postpartum energy slash this is why I feel like... Um, I need him energy she has going on. And it's it's just, it's not realistic. I don't even see her really feeling that way. She's just doing that because this is my son's father. That's going to wear off because she's not going to be able to hold that lie up for much longer because shit's going to hit the fan. DDG is not going to really be helping her with that baby. And it's going to be a crack in their foundation to show up. But look for his ass to be the one talking about what's going on she'll just give us a vague response about them being broken up she needed some me time type shit you know how she do it'll be him over there running his mouth talking about oh what happened in between them you know the ten of coins in reverse is a uh family conflict and shit and foolishness okay rocky or loose foundations they are already on that right now they're on that type of time now we of course are not getting any gossip from the situation but Look forward to happen around September 12th to September 22nd. And that's simply me going off the date that is on this card, okay? All right, Joe.